Hello everyone and thanks for joining me. It's a cold damp day. I laid over yesterday. It was very wet. It rained all day. There was a little bit of a let up. It was always my plan not to cruise so there was no worries there but um, it just didn't stop basically. So I thought I should show you this lovely coat. This was actually purchased for me by a viewer of the channel at the Crick Boat Show. And this is the first time I've actually worn it cruising. He also purchased this lovely waistcoat for me. So um, I'm delighted with these and this is the perfect day to wear this. <laughs> I don't think you've ever seen me so colourful. I'll be setting off shortly. It should be dry today. It's very cloudy as you can see and that is going to last all day. So um, I'm looking forward to having you come along with me. I'm Alan. I own a 45 foot narrowboat, have an interest in industrial heritage, transport and technology and invite you to join me as I cruise, repair and maintain my boat visit events and places of historic interest. My neighbour in the marina, Queen Bella, has just come past. He's going to go ahead to the winding point, turn and come back to my position here. I think that's the plan. I'm just giving him a bit of leeway to get away from me. <laughs> I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> I saw a boat was coming as I was about to move off and I thought I'd wait for it to pass. It just makes life easy sometimes. As I said earlier, it's a rather grey day. No rain is expected, which is good. I hope it stays that way. I'm not going back to the marina today. I'm going to stop one more time and my plan is to go back tomorrow. I do look colourful, don't I? <laughs> it's very comfortable, it's lined inside and the sleeves are lined as well and it's right for this dampish weather we've got today so many many thanks to the viewers and the dog was called Izzy I think that uh, bought it for me. <laughs> You can see here the weir is overflowing, hear it. I can see my neighbour has turned and is on his way back. Oh, I can see it. Really makes life awkward, doesn't it? See you again in a moment. <laughs> There's a boat parked just beyond the bridge, which makes it very awkward when you want to turn. is always slow to pick up going backwards. I'm glad I missed that tree. <laughs> I 
think in the past I haven't been sort of strong enough, I haven't given it enough oomph to make the turn. This is going well today actually. <laughs> going forward. <laughs> a three-point turn, that's actually very rare for me. Normally I'm five in, out, in, out, and out, and then off. <laughs> so I'm pleased with that. Just going back under Bridge 28, Elkington Bridge. I haven't really decided where I'm going to stop, but I want to be fairly close to the marina because tomorrow it's going to rain. And I think I will be travelling in the rain tomorrow. Well, the sun is trying to come out, and there's some lovely bird song as well. I'm just thinking about that winding hole turn. It could have been very, very different. Because as I turned in, I was aiming for the tree and it looked to me very, very close indeed. So I gave it a lot of revs and swung round as quickly as I could. But the outcome could have been very different. And as I said, it's the uh, first three-point turn I think I've done there for a long, long while. It is difficult when there's a boat moored there. Some years ago, the plan was to put a sign up to stop people mooring, but it's by a bridge, and as I've said previously, people like to park near a bridge when they move their car around with them. So it's quite a popular spot because of that, and it is in the middle of nowhere. I can see smoke ahead. Oh, there's a boat coming towards me. The boat slowed down because of this tree I'm just passing. I passed this boat the other day, you may recall. Hello again. Very good. Lovely yeah. coat you've got there, mate. Yeah, it's the first time I've coat. worn it properly. Look we got it at the boat show last yeah. year. An admirer of my coat. Lovely. I actually like it. I think I look good. <laughs> it's such a different thing for me to wear, you know, but uh, I really do. Uh, I look good, the colour. Adding some colour back to the video is wonderful, isn't it? You all right? I'm not coming in, no. No, I spent last night, I've been here two nights. I'm going to stop on the way back, though, somewhere. <laughs> neighbour in the marina. <laughs> he mistakenly thought I was going back there. He didn't realise. He thought that I was just going up to turn to come back, but that was never the case. <laughs> Got to zigzag around the obstructions in the water. Next one. <laughs> At least they're not really in the way. Which is 
good thing, of course. <laughs> Another boat coming by. Hello again. Everyone's on the move today. Do you like it? Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love the jacket. Great boat show. Yeah. Yeah. Got it last year. Yeah. Well, everyone's liking the jacket today. <laughs> Wonderful. It may seem odd, but today really is the first opportunity to wear it on the boat because it's months since I cruised and at the end of last year the weather wasn't that bad. <laughs> it's the winter months that have been awful. And now that I'm getting used to it, it is so comfortable. I'm really delighted with it. So ahead of me where there were boats when I came through, both of those boats have actually just passed me. <laughs> it's a long while since I've had a humbug. <laughs> I haven't had one on this trip at all. I think it's because sometimes I want to speak to you and it's not easy when you're sucking a humbug. One of my favourite boiled sweets. I think I've mentioned this before. Just passing the tree that's being cut down. <laughs> I'm so pleased about that. So pleased. I dreaded coming under that tree. It was so low. If the canopy was up, it would just scratch the top of the canopy. Yeah. It is trying to brighten up, actually. But it's very, very grey, nonetheless. The sun really is coming out now, and I'm about to pass another boat. I just saw the moon near the sun. <laughs> it was really nice. Just gone under bridge 23. I've now got to make my mind up. <laughs> I did think about stopping where I stopped the other day, but I think I'm going to push on a little bit further and more somewhere where I don't recall mooring previously. We're coming up to where I moored the other day. just along here where there's a gap in the wooden it's not really armco but <laughs> it's where I moored against the uh, the wood that you're just seeing now further down there's a little bit of a gap I tend to have the boat bridging that gap when I moor up here it's 
been very pleasant cruising today but I am beginning to feel a little chill. I think it has got colder in the last 10 or 15 minutes. And I'm not far now from mooring up. I'm going to be mooring up just beyond Ridge 21, which is now in view. It really is getting very chilly now. <laughs> So I'm not going to mess about outside, I'm going to moor up, get tied off quickly and get inside the boat. Oops, just getting this ready. <laughs> Quite often there are boats moored here, so I'm pleased there isn't. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly sort myself out. Well that was an easy mooring up against some decent armco. Behind me is bridge 21. I don't ever recall mooring here before. It is pretty close to the marina. <laughs> the wind turbine is actually just over here. I was just looking around for it. <laughs> it's not actually turning. It's virtually stopped. Can you hear that lovely boat in the distance? What a wonderful sound that is. <laughs> I've really enjoyed my cruise today. Weather hasn't been good. It wasn't too chilly while I was cruising. It's just this last 15 or 20 minutes where it seems to have got a real chill on. Anyway, I'm moored up now. It is lunchtime. I will put the canopy up a little bit later but I think I need a cup of tea and a bite to eat so that's what I'm going to do in just a moment first of all I'm going to let this lovely boat come on past it's pretty close now <laughs> Wow, listen to that. Fantastic. Hello. Had to wait and here you come past. Fantastic sound it makes. Lovely. Really lovely. Sort of forgotten what I was saying. <laughs> I think I was just saying I'm pleased that I'm moored up and I'm hungry. <laughs> I'll catch you later. Bye for now. A well earned cup of tea. What a lovely cruise I had. Miserable weather, but I really enjoyed it. And we saw some very interesting boats, I thought. So that was a lucky catch, or they were a lucky catch, I should say. <laughs> I've eaten a lot of cheese top rolls recently, but I don't always bring them on the boat with me. So today I have a sandwich. It's um, called a Tiger Bloomer. And in it, I've got Cambazola cheese, which is a soft cheese with a blue vein. 
and it's one of my favorite cheeses it's not too strong I don't like strong cheese many of the blue cheeses are much too strong for me but this is uh, this is spot on so it's a nice position here can I think be a bit windy I've noticed that when I cruise through here sometimes but it's fine at the moment Sun has been trying to come out, but I don't think it's really going to show its head today. So I'm just going to sit here, relax, <laughs> if I can relax, that is, and eat my sandwich. Oops. <laughs> Okay. You're going to get wet in a minute. Looks that way, doesn't it? I was thinking that. I've got a canopy to put up. <laughs> Many thanks for watching, look after yourselves, your friends and families, take the utmost care in whatever you're doing. Until next time, bye for now.